Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. We have a ton of great content that I know you'll enjoy. Today we're going to be talking about how to seam seal your tent. Hi, I'm Samantha, and this is Lone Crow Adventures. Now when it comes to seam sealing your tent, there are different opinions out there about this. Some people say definitely yes, some people aren't too sure about it. And it can be kind of a scary thing to do for the first time when you're applying some product you're not familiar with to your tent. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you purchase the type of sealant that's appropriate for the fabric of tent that you have. Most tents are made out of nylon, so you're going to want to make sure that the seam sealant that you're choosing is appropriate to be used on nylon. Today we're going to be using a couple of different products. The first one is the actual seam sealer, which is made by Gear Aid, and this is applied directly to the seams of the tent. And the second one is a waterproofing aerosol spray, and this one also has a UV protectant. So this is going to help extend the life of your tent because it's going to take less damage from sitting out in the sun, and it's also going to add some waterproofing element to it. Now. There is some discussion out there about whether or not you should seam seal a tent within its first year of use. Some people say no, some people say yes. My personal preference is to seam seal it within the first season. This way I can move forward into subsequent seasons knowing that that process already happened so I'm less likely to have a uh-oh moment during a heavy rainstorm. So next we're going to get the tent set up and we're going to show you guys exactly what you need to do in a step-by-step -step process. All right, before we get started, I just wanted to point out that I've chosen to actually stake down my rain fly on the ground. And that's because, welcome to the Midwest, folks, where it is windy 360 out of 365 days a year. And those are the conditions we have to deal with, so we're going to make our best effort. Now, let's take a minute and talk about why we get leaks in our tent in the first place. Most tent flies are made out of a very water resistant material with a nylon base. However, the stitching is typically made out of a blend of a polyester and a cotton material. If you know anything about cotton, one of the things you know is that it is very water absorbent. So what happens during a very heavy rain pour or even a light rain over a sustained period of time is that the stitching in the seams becomes saturated with water. The water has nowhere to go, so then it starts to leak through those stitches and into your tent. So if you went camping and you got wet, check the seams because guaranteed it's not a failure of the material of the fly itself. It's 99% of the time a failure at one of the seams on your tent. Now this is a first season tent for me, and I've used it quite a few times this season, but I'm getting ready to go up to Voyager's National Park for an extended canoe trip, and we're expecting some rain in the forecast. I just wanna make sure I'm not gonna get wet while I'm there. The underside of this tent fly has been seam taped. I don't know if you can see this in the film, but there's a seam tape on the bottom of all the seams of the tent fly. So this will provide protection underneath. Sometimes in tents, after using them for several seasons, this tape will start to break down and you'll actually need to remove it. And you can do one of two things, either apply a sealant on the bottom or you can actually go and purchase more seam tape to do that. So today we're just gonna be doing the top layer because I wanna have that added protection. I want to make sure that those seams on the exterior of the fly don't become saturated with rainwater to begin with. So we're going to start getting the seam sealant on right now. So this Gear Aid stuff is really good. It comes with a cap. You push it down to close it. When you're done using it, you're going to want to give this brush a rinse or else all that stuff's going to get gunked up in there. And then just pull it to open it. Now. You want to go sparingly with this stuff. This stuff goes a long way. You don't want to cake it on there because then your fly is going to kind of crinkle up. Now the instructions on the bottle say to remove the seam seal tape from the bottom of the tarp and apply this to the underneath. I don't do that. 
The seam sealed tape on this tent is brand new, straight from the factory. There's not a thing wrong with it. So I'm just gonna apply a very small coating to this to the outside seams, just to give it that extra layer of protection. But of course you can choose to do whatever you like according to your own preferences. So we'll start down in the corner and we'll just apply a nice even layer. If you give this a, a real squeeze, you'll end up with quite a bit of gunk coming out all at once and we don't want that. So we're just gonna do a nice little coating here. And it doesn't need to be absolutely sopping wet, just a small little coating is good enough. And it's a little difficult to do in these windy conditions. I'm actually going to show you a close up so this way you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing up close. So that way, make sure that you're not caking it on. You don't want to cake it on. All right, so I'll show you a, sh a close up of this. You just hold it nice and taut and just a nice little brushing, just enough to kind of get it wet. That'll be enough to get the job done. If you do squeeze a little bit too much and you want to spread it around, just go ahead and close that cap so no more comes out and then you'll be able to spread it evenly. But you shouldn't really have to squeeze this bottle too much, especially at first when it's full. See, we got a little much there as a demonstration. So I'll just flatten it out and then just use this to spread that around. And that way we get, don't get a bunch all gummed up in one spot. All right, I'm going to finish doing the rest of the seams. Now, when you're thinking about seam sealing the tent body, the corners are definitely an area that you want to focus on. And here, we're just going to apply a, a thin layer on the outside. And with the tent body, I'm actually going to do the inside as well, just as an extra precaution especially in these corners. And we're gonna to wanna to do along the bottom of the tent, along the seam at the base, where that nylon fabric is gonna meet that under pad tarping, because that's where we tend to get leaks on the tent body. So I'll go ahead and finish that now. After you apply your seam sealant, you're going to want to leave your tent set up for two to four hours to make sure that, that sealant has a chance to dry. If you roll that tent fly up and it still has some moisture in it, the nylon is going to stick to itself and you're gonna have a mess. The other thing I want you to notice is the seams. This is fully dry now. There's no discoloration of the seams. The seam material isn't crinkled together and that's because I took the time to make sure that I had the proper application process and the proper application amount. If you use too little, you won't get that waterproofness that you're looking for, but if you use too much, it dries and it pulls that nylon together and that's where you get that kind of wrinkly, crinkly look. So you can seam seal your own tent as long as you take the time to do it correctly and this way you're not gonna have any noticeable difference on the outside. It still maintains all its aesthetic a curb appeal. Now one of these little two ounce bottles is definitely enough to do this little two person backpacking tent. I have about, I would say about a third of a bottle left over. So if you were gonna do a four person tent, you might wanna pick up two of these or three of these if you're gonna do a six person tent or larger. Now I wanted to take some time and show you what the seams look like after the sealant has had a chance to dry. And as you can tell, there is no noticeable sealant on the outside of the tent. And now it's also completely odorless. So if you're worried about seam sealing your tent, maybe it's your first time, just make sure that you have enough time to be thorough and pay attention to detail and just make sure that you don't lay the sealant on too thick. You avoid that gunkiness and you avoid that buildup, but still provide a nice even coat. I can guarantee you that you'll have a product you're happy with at the end. 
Well, the seam sealant is fully dry and now it's time to add some additional waterproofing and some additional UV protection. Again, this is optional, it's not required, but I like to do this seasonally with all my tents and that's because as you use the tent over the years, that factory waterproofing that's applied when you first bought the tent has a tendency to break down. So giving the tent a quick spray over with this stuff just adds that extra element of protection to keep you dry. So this sealant is a silicone based waterproofing agent. And again, we don't need to cake it on. It comes in an aerosol spray. So the application process is definitely a lot faster than the seam seal. And I've even known people who use this exclusively as a seam seal. And what they'll do is they'll get right close to the seal and they will apply a spray right down close to the seal. And that tends to be quite effective as well. So if you're uncomfortable with the brush application, this could be something that you could use for seam seal as well. So we're going to give it a little bit of a shake and we're just going to apply a nice even coating. And it's a little hard because it's windy. So a nice just thin layer of this stuff will get the job done. Don't need to go crazy with it, but all right, we're done. Thanks for joining me on this video tutorial of how to seam seal and waterproof your tent. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed, do it now. We'll see you next time. Get out there and stay dry.